Manchester United from Stoke last summer and was immediately sent out on loan. Moral King! And Kirai proves to be the barrier. Great save. Great save. He did brilliant. Tony Popovich, what are you doing? He loses it. And once you let it bounce and it goes behind you, the striker's going to be in. Poor old Marlon King because it bounced so well. He has to take it when he does rather than letting it drop. He could have put it below the goalkeeper because it was on the volley. He whacked it and Kirai was able to save it. Watson took it quickly, and Andrew Johnson was just as sharp. Oh, it looked like it was heading in. That's why he's such a very, very clever player, and Ben Watson's on the same wavelength, because they've switched off completely, Watford. Switched off completely, Watson hasn't, Johnson hasn't. Fantastic ball down the side, and he takes it in his stride. Once he strikes it with his right foot, he's aiming to the right-hand side of Ben Foster, but it just goes wide. It's Hughes. Soars. Makana. Johnson. Let it go for Morrison. Who curls it just wide. I tell you what, what fantastic play this is between the two strikers. This is so clever. It's absolutely beautiful to watch. Just watch this over when this ball comes in. And Andy Johnson, it's fit into him. There's the dummy. He's over. Morrison reads the script and will one touch and try and bend it into that far left hand corner. Foster's at full stretch, but it's going wide. Well, we had a blistering start to the second half from last night to Ellen Rowe when Preston took the lead. Marlon King has given Watford the lead early in the second half here. The top scorer in the championship this season is at it again. What a strike. What a magnificent strike with his left foot this is. He does absolutely brilliant because he backs into the big centre-half, Darren Ward, and then turns absolutely superb. Look at the celebrations there. Just watch this. Another. It happened a few minutes ago and it didn't take any heat at all. There he is, backing into the big centre-back. Once he feels him close to him, then he turns and he swivels. I don't mind you going that way, says Ward, but I don't want you to produce that once you do. And that's exactly what he does. Look at the goalkeeper. He can only watch as he dives to his left-hand side, off the inside of the post. Off he goes. 1-0. Ashley Young is setting himself for a possible crack. Although Matt Spring is adjacent to him, should he prefer to knock it across? Spring no longer there. It is Ashley Young! Fantastic! The surprise sign of the season are surprising everyone again. Ashley Young with a cracker, and Watford are 2-0 up at Selhurst Park. Well, this is absolutely magnificent. What a strike this is. It's brilliant. Gabor Kirai is having an absolutely scream at the wall. Why is he having a scream at the wall? I don't know. The wall just gets eased along and pushed along by a couple of Watford players. But that gap doesn't make any difference because this goes up and over the top. The goalkeeper is trying his very, very best to get across his goal and make the save. He gets the slightest of touches, but it's not enough. Ashley Young, it's Matthew Spring, it could be three, it is three! It's not often that you get in the comfort zone in the playoffs, but Watford are most definitely in the comfort zone, 3 nil. This is a goal of individual brilliance. You could tell that the Palace players had gone, but despite that, you've still got to have the quality to do it. Should he have played the Eagles in? Not a chance because he had the confidence in his own ability when he picks his ball up. It's a lovely little drop off to him there from Young. Now watch the composure. Shift it with your right foot onto your left. And what a magnificent strike this is. Up and away from the goalkeeper. Right.